AT&T users across the country woke up today without cell service. People could still make emergency calls, and a lot of people found the outage to be inconvenient, to say the least. But others tell News on 6's Jaden Grant, and it helped them focus on what's right in front of them. Jaden? Craig, I have AT&T as my network, so I was one of those who couldn't make a call or a text, but the people I talked to say that they saw this as an opportunity to spend the day unplugged. Sending a text in the morning or scrolling through social media to see what you missed overnight. They're simple joys, and for tens of thousands of people across the U.S., today, they weren't an option. Um, at first, I just thought it was my phone. So we asked people on Tulsa streets the question of the day. Got cell service? Like, hey, don't be alarmed. You're probably not going to be able to make or receive calls. If you have internet, we can text. But other than that, have a great day. Sarah Teague was one of those affected by AT&T's nationwide cellular outage. It actually hasn't been too bad. While it may not be too bad for her, others can't say the same. I had like a meeting set up and they had like changed buildings and I was like waiting at the wrong building and then finally he got like Wi-Fi service and was able to text me and be like, oh, hey, yeah, we're over here now. Micah Tilford owns a business and the outage has made it difficult to reach his team. I've got like four crews and it's like, how do I make sure everybody's at the right spot and communicate? Although their morning started with an extra hurdle, Tilford and Teague were still excited to enjoy the throwback Thursday. Enjoy like putting your phone down and not being able to scroll on Twitter or TikTok or whatever your, your crux is like. Just, just enjoy having to talk to people more. They're rediscovering simple joys without a screen. I literally grew up with, you know, no cell phone until I was like 16. So it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine, people. AT&T says service has been restored to all of its customers, and the FCC is actively investigating what caused the outage. Live in Tulsa, Jaden Brannon, Oklahoma's own News on 6.